but you have to also have information for them to digest. And I think, well, there's two things that if you're thinking about the client and you're putting uh, material together, that's cool. You got, you got to have that. But I also think it's really important to have someone else tell your story because you telling your story, it's going to really, it is no matter what, it's going to be more of an ad. Even if it's an explainer, it's still going to be more of an ad versus, you know, when I look at reviews on Amazon or anywhere, I'm on there to, to learn about something. Mm -hmm. And I think other people uh, kind of describing a product or going through, mm -hmm. you know, how it works. There's just a lot of legitimacy uh, to that. Yeah. And you can definitely tell more about whatever it is through video. Yeah. No matter who you are. And um, I think the photos with logos on them has become oversaturated. Yeah. And it worked. Just, it did it. Yeah. I mean, it used to work. Yeah. But it everyone's doing that now. And it's just, um, you know, whatever the picture is, it's just a logo in front of the picture. Yeah. After it's, a while, you just, almost, you're just skipping through it. To and get it's not personal. No, no, it's not. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, some people will have something better than others as you're going through, yeah. but uh, it is it is interesting to, to kind mm -hmm. of break those things down. And to see how effective each one might be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess that's what we do, what we do for a living is we do look at trends and then mm -hmm. also what's the effectiveness of this particular thing at this time. Right. And then those things change over mm -hmm. time. So it's like you can't do... We can't, if we were doing what we did 10 years ago, then that wouldn't work very well. So I, I think that's a, another big issue is people get uh, comfortable doing the exact same kind of uh, tactics or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. that. Um, and then it becomes less and less effective. I mean, in sales, that that's extremely true. Yeah. Because, you know, just in terms of email copy that goes out, you know, what worked oh, sure. two or three years ago would sound ridiculous right now. Mm -hmm. So you always have to be changing and adapting um, to where the customer is mm -hmm. and understanding them. I mean, there's certain things that will never go out of style. And that is know your customer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, do your research, understand how what problems they're actually going through so you can sort of anticipate what their needs would be. There's just a lot of lazy kind of, I think, sales tactics that go out there. And, you know, you can't make up for for doing the the research and understanding the client. And that that's another big piece. Like I, like I was saying, is like, you know, before anyone buys a product, the first thing they do is they research. And so if you're going out and you're looking at, uh, you know, I want to understand more about this product and everything. They're doing that before ever calling the company. So if you're not investing in helping these customers, this is like, I guess, dark funnel, right? So these these customers are not on your radar yet, but they're on the website. They're, they're trying to find out about your products. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people put like these kind of barriers. Um, usually it's, you know, fill out this form and then you're going to get pestered to death by our <laughs> salesperson versus here's information, here's information, here's information. What do you need? So that way you can speed up that that sales process by by giving them everything they could possibly need to make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the companies that do that are going to do better, especially now. Now, now it's high stakes. Now it's like, okay, you know, you, you could probably get away in a good market with kind of poor um, methodologies, I guess, of, of, uh, having, you know, a, a, your website and information that you're putting out there. But now it's going to be, you know, people are, are going to make choices and, and keep things or not keep things. And I think the companies that are thinking about the customer deeply and, and anticipating what they need before they're on their site, that's going to be a, a winning combination right there. So, yeah, that's really just thinking about the customer. Yeah. Like the whole thing is for the customer. Your videos should be for the customer. Your product is for the customer. So. And that's the thing. It's like they create products for the customer. So they had to think about all this stuff, mm -hmm. right? From a, just a day-to-day a -day standpoint. Yeah.